Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back with Transport Fever, done in the style of the Metropolis, uh, it was about semi-Metropolis style, I think is probably the safest way to describe it. Um, what you're looking at here is our primary uh, delivery train for uh, construction materials. And as you can see, uh, given that it's 1977, this is just a little bit on the old side. Uh, it's actually quite a bit on the old side there. Um, and, uh, and this is going to be the theme for today. Uh, not only is this train a little old, it's also... Uh, what's the other way to describe it? Uh, it's not quite pulling enough material. Uh, there, is, uh, there is a healthy supply of construction goods waiting to be picked up. And, uh, and so we need to extend the train, we need to replace the loco. There's all of that jazz still to be done. Um, we're going to catch up on some of the stuff that we've built in previous episodes because you're going to want to see how that's getting on. Um, the good news is we're largely profitable. Uh, we're carrying a few services that don't make any money, but, you know, that's to be expected. Um, and the theme of today's show is going to be updating old stuff and uh, making sure that passenger lines are properly looked after. Why not stick around for that? So there we go. I'll start you with with quite a nice little view here. We've got a that's a, that's a British Rail something or other going on. I'm going to say Class 47 because it isn't um, in the background. It might be actually. I might not be. I might not be wholly wrong. There are first times for everything, and I'm right. Hey, hey, hey. I should just retire now. Um. Anyway, as you can see, uh, we've got an awful lot of goods here waiting to be uh, waiting to be transported. Um, and that's in no small part due to the the, th the free flow, uh, easier to think than it is to say, uh, of stone coming in to be delivered. And then, of course, the, uh, the, the final service itself can also bring in um, uh, stone or slag or whatever else that might need uh, converting into construction material. So uh, we're going to upgrade this. Uh, I'm not going to send it all the way back to the depot uh, because... Uh, I want to get uh, I want to get things rolling again, um, just to uh, just to finish things off. Do we de naffy? I think we might do. I I will uh, I will probably reconsider that in about a minute and a half. Uh, but right, we've got a train to replace on here. <coughs> First train of the day always uh, takes a little while to uh, to warm up. Come on, come on, in your own time when you're ready. Let's go. Come on, get cooking. Hmm, people waiting. Could edit it out. Not going to. Uh, right, and uh, and we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go with uh, with a, with a good old faithful here. Uh, where are we? Hello, SD forty. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, I shouldn't have uh, left you without a strong line to step to. Thank you. Um, it's a bit of Eric Ben Rakim there. Uh, and uh, right, it's current. Uh, currently, it can carry uh, one six five. I think we could do a little better than that. I might use the flat car. Now, I think the only thing the flat car can't handle is logs. And that does appear to be the case. So uh, so we'll go with... I don't know, what's 12? Yeah, we'll go with 20 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that was 13. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, right, good, yes... It's got 15 on there at the moment. I think that's 20. If it's not, you know what? Let's have one more. 21's a good lucky number anyway. There we are. And uh, replace it now. 12 million quid. Worth every penny. Uh, and that should, uh, as ever, uh, pump things through to be uh, to be further delivered. As you can see, we've got we've got an awful lot of goods in stock right now. And, uh, and that's not going to change anytime soon. Let's see how many I did actually put on there. I'm going to say it was 22. 180, and uh, that's... Oh, no, it's 21. Okay, fine. Uh, that's what, it's 152 capacity... No, 252 capacity. That's fine. I'll, uh, I'll live with that. Now then, over here, you can see... Uh, we've actually upgraded a couple of trucks. So, uh, so these are the trucks making the food delivery. Uh, or rather, the uh, not-yet-food delivery. Uh, they're bringing cattle up to the station. And, uh, and as such, I decided to use a, a truck that was uh, cattle-dedicated... I know, and that's that's going to be something I start working on ever more so uh, as we uh, as we rattle towards the new series. Uh, but uh, less about that right now. And uh, hello there, international consumer goods bulk running almost full. 
Okay, it's not almost full. It's about it's about three quarters full. I'll take it though. That's uh, that's going to be making good bank. That one. Uh, right, here's our SD40 doing its uh, doing its job. Nice little passing shot coming up. Model railroad. That's beefy. Good. Uh, and as you can see, we are bringing 70 slag out to be uh, to be converted as well. Hello. Now then, you're a bit old, aren't you? You're going to Detroit. Now, you can also... You've, you, I mean, these 9000s actually have a reasonable uh, turn of speed. But stopping here, you are wrecking it for everyone, aren't you? This is not... A, did, did, I felt at the time, actually, that I was taking a bit of a chance because the, the, the downside with all of these lines is because they are effectively platform-dedicated... Uh, you do end up in a situation where if you run more than one train on a route, you can uh, you can block yourself, which isn't ideal. Um, and uh, and again, it's not something I'm going to tear down because we're too late in the day for that now. We're we're just trying to uh, trying to build towards a, a final showdown, a final a final countdown, and so on. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I've learned ever so much. You wouldn't have thought it was possible, but yes, I have. I've learned an awful lot about, uh, about effective approaches, or at least considerations that need to be made uh, with regards to, uh, to station approaches, and I'm going to address that soon. Meanwhile, let's not worry about that. Here's the money. Uh, so we've spent 90 million on new vehicles this year, and we're down a total of 9 million in November. And uh, that's about to shoot up, actually, because we're coming up on the end of the month. Let's see uh, see where we get to. But it's not inconceivable that we could uh, we could turn green before the end of the year, and that's absolutely fantastic. Um, and see, earnings are actually down a little bit at the moment, uh, but. Not by not by more than a twelfth, certainly. So it's it's highly possible we can we can rock in close to the four hundred million mark this year, and uh, and doing so will get us very close to breaking even. So uh, so I'm quite pleased with the overall turn of things. Uh, here's the one we all look forward to: uh, who are the winners and the losers? Well, unsurprisingly, the Metropolis Explorer, with its nineteen hundred passenger capacity, um, has only carrying. 367 and therefore it's losing all the money uh yes this is it's costing us 27 million quid to run ty yeah this is on you man no, no, it's not me i didn't do this this is this is uh this is not my doing uh i just i, I just put the thing together you're the one who who said no 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 it'll be brilliant oh, trust me it'll be amazing uh right let's uh let's bring up all five but it's a belter of a route, and therefore, it's uh, it's worth keeping around. All right, kill that off. Let's have a look. 233, that's more like it. 23, that's not. Uh, 63, everyone gets their own seat. 20 and 28. Now, the, the route overall has a 14-minute turnaround, and that's a little on the long side. Um, and therefore, part of me says, stick another couple of trains on it. I mean, what's it going to do? Make it worse? Well, yes, it would do. If, if, if we continue to not have many passengers on there, it will make it considerably worse. On the plus side, it might make it better. And if it does... Because once you get... Uh, once you increase your frequency... Look at Barcelona, though. 286 on board there now. Oof. Very nice. Um, but this this ties very much into the, the TGV, the TFV, whatever they call it in this game. I can never remember for sure. Um, uh, someone was saying that this is the kind of route that the TGV would be suited to, and it really isn't. Uh, when you've got a high-speed train, such as this chap here, what you really want is for it to, uh, to have as long a run as possible. As you can see, it's still accelerating now, and, you know, we're nowhere near where we started off as we head towards Detroit. See, you know, we we came from Vancouver. You would hope that it would, that it would have been uh, close to top speed by this point, um, and it is that uh, that speed that uh, that dictates the money that you make overall. Because while the earning is going to be the same based on um, the, uh, the the overall potential top speed, 
Uh, if you do get uh, if you do get held at any point, you slow down. So so getting up to top speed quickly means that you're making more stops, and therefore you're making more money. Listen, that made sense in my head. All right, so you don't have to go with it entirely. 18 passengers. What a joke. Uh, anyway, this comedian has burned us uh, for two million this year. I've seen worse, but not a lot. So I will stick another cup. I'm going to put two more on there. Because, uh, you know, when you're running an unprofitable service, the best thing to do, double down. Um, and do, do much more of it. So, uh, and we're only running the cheap one as well. I'm using, I'm using air quotes there, as is so often the case. Right, okay, you lot are going on the Metropolis uh, Explorer. And we'll see how that gets on. If it doesn't work, I'll, uh, I'll scale it back down again and we'll run with the five that we've got. Um, uh, some of you are immediately going to say, well, if you built better bus services in the towns, then it wouldn't be a problem. Yes, it would. Uh, because it's got nothing to do with bus services in the towns. The catchment area, the, ta the, the towns are all such a size now that their catchment area of a station look at that, uh, covers enough to fill up quite a few services. Certainly, better commuter routes would help, but, uh, but just, uh, just commuter routes alone is not going to salvage this beast. What it needs is, uh, uh, is the frequency to actually build up some demand. Uh, a whole slew of open wagons just became available. Well, ain't she something? Uh, right, okay, good. Now then, what shall I, what shall I tackle next? Um, I think it was Onion Jack. I could be wrong. Um, uh, purveyor of fine Volvos said, I should pick a town and actually metropolize it um, uh, as, the, uh, as the final Fandango for this series. And, uh, and I can't help but think that actually that's a very, very nice idea. Um, meanwhile, I'll just, would, just to wrap up the previous thought here, I don't know why Grand Junction Goods Bulk is underperforming to this degree. It's, did it just come out of the front? No, is it going in? Is it coming back? Where are you? But it, this is, I mean, this is dramatically underperforming. Uh, and uh, where, where the heck are you? This green bit here, that's the, uh, that's the purview of the bricks line. Where are you going? I'm sure it will become incredibly obvious in due course. I could just look at the roots. Oh, I see. Okay, yes, all right. No, I, plumbed, I, I plumbed it in to go up, up here. So look, it is making a delivery, but it's not, it's not good, is it? It's, it really isn't good. And it might be 28 years old, which is also affecting its, uh, its profitability. But that alone is, uh, is not the problem. The problem is that it's just not getting enough stuff to send up there in the first place. So let's uh, whiz back down to, the, to the, the, the setup here. What have we got here? So, I mean, it's not like it's short on, uh, on materials to ship. There is, there is a good chunk on there. I mean, there could be more, obviously, but it's not uh, it's not running empty, for example. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, let's let's go for a train replacement and see how we get on. Uh, we'll drop that nine thousand off, and then uh, I don't know. We'll because I mean, the thing about the nine thousand is that actually it's 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 no slouch. It's a it's a good loco that one. Um, Arguably a, uh, a competitor for your big boy uh, in those cases, and I'm going to find it any second. Here we go. Uh, that's the ticket. Okay, a top spin of 97. All right, maybe it's not as quick as I thought it was. Uh, so let's just keep this one simple because the running costs on yeah, I'm using one uh, on an SD40 are reasonably uh, are reasonably affordable. So let's do a bit of that, replace it now. It's going to cost me 15 million quid, so be it. Could possibly have, have cropped a couple of wagons off the back there, but uh, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not judgmental in that regard. Right, we're going to leave that going. So we're going to pick out our, uh, our candidate for, hello, this is what we mean by Metropolis. There are a couple of good candidates. Um, let's get the obvious ones out of the way. So Brussels. Given its central location 
And look, I mean, it really is. It is really centralised you know, when you look at, uh, you know, places that could potentially visit it. Um, uh, and to that uh, to that end, you've got Barcelona, Dortmund, uh, Krakow. They're all they're all good as far as uh, the ability to get multiple trains coming in. Uh, but I thought, well, actually, what about doing something that uh, uh, where it's not necessarily quite as centralised? You, you can probably predict where I'm going already. Um, but it does have some scenery that could generate something interesting, and that led me toward Grand Junction which has two stations and uh, at the moment it doesn't have well, it does have a commuter route but nobody's using it no that's a that's a truck all right well if we up the truck let's do that as well uh, then maybe that will also encourage the uh, the freight train that I was just looking at uh, we're going to put something universal on there we'll bang the Peterbilt on it uh, just so that uh, we have maximum opportunities to uh, uh, to profit from this. That's that's how we maximum profit. Um, right, yeah, so we, we've got... Oh, yeah, it's because I'm using truck stops to drop off goods. What a terrible move that is. Um, but, yes, we don't have uh, commuting services here right now. Obviously, that's going to need to be fixed. Um, also, there is, you know, there's a real chance we could we could possibly spread the city over to the other side of the river. That would be quite nice. It may be a bit of a stretch, but it's not going to stop me trying. Um, the challenge, of course, is going to be: well, where do you where do you go from there? How do you make that work then? So, other things that I'm looking at is that you've got uh, you've got the Detroit. Uh, kind of east-west station here, and uh, and then you've got the uh, the new line that we built not so long ago that runs round the outside for the the, the for the commuter, um, and I'd quite like to use that. And I don't know. We either come across on, on uh, no, we uh, we could come across on there. It, it's it's like, do we extend the existing commuter service to Grand Junction? Do we build a fresh one between, I don't know, maybe Grand Junction and Rill? Yeah, that's a that's a lot of work. Um, but that doesn't mean that's that's not a no. Uh, so if, let's have I mean let's have a look at it from the uh, from the perspective of uh, how big is she at present? Uh, so Krakow number one, uh, surprisingly small actually. Given the, uh, the the amount of time we've been running, I, I think it's because of the size of the map. As uh, as you as you play on larger maps with more towns on them, no. Let me dial that back. As you play with towns, no, wait for it. As you play with maps, yes, with more towns on them. The size of the map doesn't matter. Uh, population tends to increase more anyway uh, on an individual town basis, simply because there's so much throughput uh, between individual destinations. Um, and uh, so fewer towns mean less growth. I could have just said that, couldn't I? But I didn't. Um, so yeah, so Krakow, uh, Krakow Brussels, uh, Wolverhampton, uh, given the number of services going in there, is doing quite well. Uh, Sioux Falls, weirdly, has never grown brilliantly. Um, I mean, it is the end of the line, but I have put probably more trains in and out of that station than almost any other. Uh, so that's a, that's a little disappointing, as is Detroit, actually. These are the things that I built first, and maybe it's because they've had no love Hmm. Uh, Wellington's no surprise at all because it is the least connected that we have, um, and uh, and its isolated position is going to keep it that way. Uh, Rill also a map edge that I just really haven't done much with. Right, enough pontificating here, uh, Rocket Man. Let's see if we can't get uh, Grand Junction up into the two thousands and potentially challenging for uh, for king of the something or others so let's have a look and see what we've got route wise at the moment uh right we've got a vancouver and brussels connection and then a rill and detroit that's good and then over this side uh we've got a connection to detroit and wolverhampton and of course the explorer okay so it's not that it isn't connected um if we were to join these two stations somehow, that would uh, that would undoubtedly improve things. Equally, they're, they're both, they're just two platformers, so we can't run masses of services in and out unless I decide that, uh, that I'm feeling good about life and I'm going to put extra something. 
you know what the extra something is, extra platforms in. I think instead what I'll do is I might, and we'll see how we get on, but I might stick a third station for Grand Junction in over here. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be kind of mad. Um, anyway, to get us started, let's put in uh, some, some actual commuting services. And before we do that, let's uh, I'm going to use trams because we haven't used trams in a long time. Uh, we'll go with electric tram track, please. And then hit the upgrade button, and then we'll we'll choose a, a selection of road that will be perfectly amenable to this kind of behaviour. Um, and large street, I like large street. You know, let's let's use it where we can use it. Now there's going to be there's going to see construction is 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 next possible. Uh, Oops, well, that's, uh, that's seven buildings gone. You know how you said you didn't want to do that in case you did... Oh, well. Uh, let's uh, let's downscale that again. Uh, medium, please. Medium street. Medium street. There you go. Do that, and then this. Uh, the only reason I'm downscaling is so that maybe they move back in again. Please move back in again. I didn't I didn't mean to, to, to throw you all out. All right, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to stick with... Uh, with medium now, not going to be greedy and, and try and try and use large everywhere. We'll, we'll we'll roll it back down to medium. We'll leave this this mega strasser here as uh, uh, a bit of oh another dead one. Never mind. It's the price of progress, people. You know, no longer will you be carting uh, epic amounts of dust into your living room uh, when you come home at the end of the day. Now, oh yeah, you'll be carting in the, the fresh smell of tarmacadden. Um, 21 buildings will be removed. Well, I, I kind of want them, so let's check that out. Yeah, that's me slowing down and, and, uh, and almost being methodical. I know you're surprised I even know what the word methodical means. I've got a bus stop here. Am I actually running a commuter route or not? I thought about it and then didn't. Brilliant. Good. 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 Well done. Excellent. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. That's actually that's that's no bad thing, because um, it means that I've actually got some infrastructure in place already, and, and don't have to bulldoze anybody uh, deliberately. It's just the accidental folk who are hosed, and obviously this bridge isn't gonna isn't gonna take to it because there's two of the much slope. Well, I'll fight that in a minute. Uh, people in the vicinity of the bridge, I've got news for you. And uh, you may find about it beforehand, but you'll see. Hang on, he's upgrading all these roads. I'll do. Oh, crikey, shouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll leave those and those. We'll use uh, we'll use something smaller for that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell the stuff that I've actually built myself because it's already uh, it's already tarmacked. Oh, hello. What have we got going on here? Oh, shut up. Um, right. All right, let's try. I'm I'm reluctant to do so, but we'll uh, we'll use small street here. I mean, it's not wholly necessary because we can probably complete this mission without having to. You see, I'm still having to bulldoze everyone. Can we just? What if we? No, we can't. No, that's uh, that's a non-starter. So we can't get right next to the station on this side because of all of these idiots who've moved in right next to the flipping road I'm tempted to kick them out you know yeah they'll move back in if they're that keen they'll do it now nah, get out yep you lot as well anyone else want to fight me yeah have a rethink yeah you shouldn't have built so close to the road Kind of go, oh, but I'd invested so much money in my beautiful uh, commuter's paradise apartment complex. Kind of go, well, it's not very complex now, is it? It's rubble. No, it's in the back of a dumper truck. Uh, right, there we go. Now then, we'll get some rebuild happening along here. Uh, I'm sure it will be able to squeak in uh, a building or three. Have we largely done there? Uh, this lot's all red because it's uh, it's it's big fat chunky road and that's fine. 
that's still giving me drama. If I can... What, what about a small street? No, you don't like that either. All right, then, for my next trick... Uh, and this is going to be just a little bit challenging. I'm going to pause because uh, there's a real, a real good chance that the AI tries to move in before I've finished doing this. That was a lovely bridge as well. As a, that was a super bit of bridge. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're, you're casualties of progress. Uh, we're going to try and get it in again. And it looks like I'd actually done some work to get it to fit in there in the first place, which you know makes it even more tragic. I mean, it's, the whole thing's a, a, modern, a modern tragedy. But, uh, right. If we go from... No, first off, let's upgrade that. There's a truck there for reasons I'm, I'm not entirely sure about. Uh, I don't like that bit of road anyway. There you go. You're toast. Uh, turn the bulldozer back off again. Get the roads out. And let's keep you running down to here. No, a bit further. Run about there. All right, and then we'll bring another bit in that does... No, that's too close. That's not as close. That's good. And then we'll run that around the corner. And then we'll run this around this corner. And that, arguably, is about as far as the AI is likely to spread us without uh, uh, without the use of uh, of some additional uh, building action. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to end up doing some additional building plopperage uh, in order to make this fly. <clears throat> but we'll, uh, we'll look at that shortly. Uh, now then, here we go. First time. No complaints. Up and over. And up and over. Not up and over. One building will be removed. Happy to remove buildings. We have a bridge. And it sat in there really quite pleasantly. So that's good. I just, I'm not so, uh, not so keen on that style. That one is a little bit more in keeping with the era in which we are. Actually, I'm going to use that. It's quite subtle, but uh, but it, uh, it it fits. You see, it looks it looks all right. Splendid, Ashley. That's not terrible. That's not ideal, but uh, you know you can't win them all. Plow that into there. I just need to get some sort of connection off here. Anything at all. Hello, gang. There you go. Uh, right, you out here. That's uh, that's almost super duper. There we are. Excellent. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sold. I'll take it. Don't wrap it. I'll ride it home. And and other such uh, televisual advertising quotes. Now then, that means that I could run any kind of a, kind of a ring idea that uh, that went over here and then did some stuff and then uh, and then came back down and uh, and hooked up by going over this level crossing. Really wouldn't would prefer not to have to go over a level crossing. However, what's this mighty piece of boulevard we've got going on? No, your your boulevard are too mighty. Instead, we shall uh, we shall pop a quick uh, a quick something over here. That's that's quite an aggressive bit of bridge. Just pray I don't need to move more. Actually, with that out of the way, because that was just su uh, a suggestion of where I should be uh, crossing, we could do uh, something like because we've got the uh, we've got the the good station there as well. So if we did that, right, and then went over all of it, how does that look? It looks all right, but you haven't got any one any way of getting to the 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 middle section here. You've built a no man's land. Green bridge? No, no, we're not going to use a green bridge. We're going to use a a variety of that's just particularly hideous. Um, that, however, is lovely, but I always use Greenbridge because I like it so very much. Uh, what else you got? No, that doesn't do anything. For a mo I had, a, I had a, a momentary pause there where I thought, oh, no, I pushed a button that crashes everything. But it didn't, so everything's fine. We'll use... No, that's too hideous for words. We will, however, use that. That's lovely. Uh, I just want to double-check that it's... 
that it's uh, fetching enough. Okay, right, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, when we'll, we'll wrap you around the corner here. No, we'll wrap you around the corner there. Go on, take it as far as here, like that. And then continue going and get onto there. That's it. That's good. I don't know what this big fat block is, or is in aid of. Obviously, we've got trucks involved. So, uh, so they're going to want a certain degree of throughput capability. But when it comes down to it, I'm also going to want a certain amount of... Uh, uh, of electrical tram tram woodness. There you are. Yeah. And this bit too. Are you going to fight me? You're not. Which is a sound decision on your part. I might be sending up a lot of trucks in this direction. But that's not going to stop me bulldozing this, you know. Yeah. Keep going. Because you're about to become fundamental to, uh, to the plan. Maybe. We still need to get onto the middle because historically these chaps have been able to get all the way into town doing this. So let's upgrade. What do you mean it's not possible? I'm pretty sure it is possible. Is it because you're doing some kind of very jaunty level crossing action there? The answer is yes. That is that is exactly the reason. Right, we'll go as far as here and then connect up on there. All right, people can now get to that. It's, but as far as uh, commuting services, this is a reasonably sizable chunk of real estate uh, that I'd quite like to get to off this here bridge. So I'm going to try something, and I don't think it's going to look good. There you go. Get onto there. If you could... Yeah, right. How ugh is that? It is pretty ugh, isn't it? It's not. Uh, it's not what you might call appealing. Uh, it's uh, no. It's just not. All right. Let's try a. Let's try a straightforward uh, kind of T junction, maybe, or we come out round here. Look, I'm trying to city skylines this beast. If we could loop back round underneath, I mean, you don't need to. I could just do that. Hold on, and then you've city skylines this beast. No, you haven't. You've made a big fat lump in your road. There you go. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. All right, we'll take it. All right, I can stop complaining about that now. That's that's now a thing that does that. Uh, good, yes. And then this one up here as well to link that up. Anything else obvious? Don't know all of that. It, it, you should expect to see the tree gun out here um so obviously if i do end up trying to uh, trying to get across the river we've got bridges from here and there we can probably set things but no, do we want to set things running maybe not yet um and then a third one may be in parallel with the train track here in order to create some kind of you know some buzz let's say yes buzz uh and that will that maybe will help us out you're only building in a bit of in-town tram here, son. It's not... You're, this is... You're not painting the Sistine Chapel. It's... It, this is easy. Now then, we do have a level crossing... Or do we? We don't have a level crossing to get over onto this side other than there. So another bit of bridge. Because we don't really want level crossing if we can avoid it. Although it, this, this does just kind of say, God, oh, just bang it in over there. Except it does. It goes, I make you think like you can bang it in over there, but really, you can't. So what if I do that? And then, uh, go on. Go on. It would have been nice to go on two. Three is uh, acceptable. I suspect, actually, it was the presence of this signal that caused the, uh, the trauma there. Right. There you go. A, a supplemental crossing for, uh, for crossing fans. And uh, it was... Uh, in fact, I dislike that. There we are. Right, you come out down here. Do something vaguely, uh, vaguely plausible. No, you see, no, you, you, it was good, and then it wasn't. And that's uh, that's got a wiggle going on there. Let's try this one. There you are. Beautiful. Oh, it's uh, oh, that's uh, that's uh, getting my uh, getting my taste buds going there. That's nicer. Right. Uh, you come out on here, obviously enough. These two go down to some kind of point. 
implying that they have a point of some description. People go like, what, where does this road lead to? I go, I don't know. That's up to you. If you want to carry on building out towards, I don't know, the Great Plains, then be my guest. Uh, I'm, I'm very keen to hear your planning applications. Uh, we'll stick a little bit of non-electrified. A lot of this tram track oriented road is just not going to get used. Um, certainly not by trams. But it does. It, I, I use it simply because it gives you the freedom to uh, to build out how you want. Uh, get rid of that. Do this, and then yeah, that's messy. I like it. And then maybe the AI gets a gets a bee in its bonnet and hold everything. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my own bee in my bonnet. Go on, squeak through there, would you? Go on, go on. Oh well, progress. Yes, it, it must take people's by surprise on occasion. They kind of go, chat with a bulldozer just turned up. And I said, what are you up to? And he yelled, progress, and bulldozed me house. Um, okay, yeah, 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 I like that. That's all right. Do we want to offset this junction? That answers that question. That's all right. There's, there's almost something vaguely symmetrical going on here. There, there's, there's clearly a, a similar kind of thought process happening. Um... I hadn't really intended to spend an entire episode on this, you know, but uh, I think, and, no, actually, we are now committing to it. We're, we're going for it. We're going to try and build out on the other side as well. Uh, I'm going to need more uh, more train action. Uh, we're going to need to get, an. basically, we need this uh, town to connect to every other town on the map. That's... One of the worst pieces of bridge building I've ever seen. I'll keep it. Um, and then this one should be less worse. Yeah, and this is obviously only going to, well, it's only going to work if we can get, firstly, an awful lot of passengers coming in. I might delete that one. That one just looks too bad for words. Um, there we go. Yeah. And it's because the, uh, the, the kind of the riverbank there is, uh, is at a slightly different elevation. Um, and then we're going to need at least one more. You would appear to be my candidate for this particular job. How's that? Do you look awful? Obviously, I need to tweak it a little bit, but uh, no, that one doesn't look dreadful. We'll go from here. Straight line, please. That's the stuff. There we are. And then a bit of that. And then we'll have a look at it. I don't, I don't need to leave any clearance for ships because we haven't used ships at all. Uh, in this entire series, or planes for that matter. What a disaster for the shipping and uh, airline manufacturing industries, uh, respectively. Um, right, yes, yeah, so I'm going to put some kind of station in here. Don't know what as yet. Uh, I might try. I won't try, because it's just stupid. Uh, what I was going to say is I might try, you know, maybe a little station here and a little one there and a little one over here, and then a biggish one here, and then more littles going around. So, and then we do some kind of figure eight that takes in all three. So it'd be like a, a double-barreled eight to try and get that working. No, I don't think that's going to work, but we will bring more passengers in that way, um, and that may, may spur on a little bit more growth. Now then, we need a... Come here, speak to me. We need a passenger depot. Uh, I believe they call it, hold on, what about the XL tram station? Well, you know where the XL tram station's going to live? That can live over the other side of the river, because at the moment, nothing lives over there. So we'll we'll bang that in over there. We've got, we've got some pedestrian stairs. Nice. Uh, I don't think they're going to stretch to, uh, to crossing the river somehow. Uh, would be good to get another tram station in, though, that has catchment within range of many exciting things uh again folks just letting you know uh, there's a good chance you're about to become homeless if i can fit that in here they see me out going through their living room with a tape measure uh and they go please don't fit please don't fit please don't fit please don't fit i, I like this house and it's really handily placed for me to get to work no you lot get to live well done however if i can get it in here go on Go on. All right, we've we're we're committing to bulldozing this chaps this chap's house. 
Uh, I don't think it's Miggins. I think she's learned. I think she is now forming the resistance. Obviously, I did not electrify that, did I? Uh, there you are. Have some of that. Right. Good. Okay, so at its simplest, we now have a route that could run from here uh, out to there. If that was on the other side, it would be better. But that doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so where else do we need stops? I'm going to overstop this one, by which I mean I'm going to place uh, extra coverage than, than we actually need. Uh, I, get, I get criticized for this on a regular basis. Kind of go, well, look, you're, you're hitting that one six times. No wonder nobody's riding it. And you kind of go, no, look, it's it's there to uh, to provide cover for the future. Right, we'll do one there. We'll do one here. You go, but nobody lives there. Nobody lives there yet. In the future, they will. They'll go, look, he's already built us a tram track. We're going to get a tram all to ourselves every morning. Apparently, that's that's something that people find inspiring and uh, and you know possibly exciting. Uh, right, bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia. No. Uh, so if we're coming in this way, we're going to probably where do we want to whip round? We'll whip down here. Yes. How are you chaps doing for coverage? I think it's going to be. I think you're borderline. So I'll come in there or zip back out again. And then we'll we'll have to stop about here, really. Oh no, where's my? No, you've, we're not. We're going to have to use the level crossing. Sorry, everybody. Uh, that's a that's a thing that's going to happen. Now these are truck stops primarily, but I could turn them into passenger facilities. Then we'll maybe come out down here and then uh, zing it on that one. You know what? I'm just going to put in a bunch, and then I'll I'll uh, I'll paint by numbers with my. Uh, with my route planning, and we'll see if we manage to get something that makes any kind of sense whatsoever. Let's go Riverside, despite the fact that's not the best way to get good coverage. Six more out there. It's going to be a bit of a wiggler, this one. I can I can tell that already. It's going to, hello, autosave. Play your autosave music now. Good, good. Love a good autosave tune, me. Right, now, is that enough? Have I gone overboard? I've probably gone overboard. Let's uh, let's turn some stuff off here. Uh, just want the stations on. And uh, turn that off. That's it. Turn those off. Turn these off. Right. Where's there an obvious hole? There doesn't look brilliantly covered. Um, there, I know you've got one, you've, you've got a terminus sat in there. Okay, I think we're probably good. Um, let's now, uh, pull up the, uh, the manager of lines and, uh, and speak with his, his manager and, uh, I don't know. Right, there we go. Grand transfer is number one. Right, we're going out this way, it looks like. Now then, we could turn left or right. We're going to turn right. Okay, because that makes for a relatively simple route to get uh, between Station 1 and Station 2. People may actually use this one. Now, do we turn this into one mega route? You know, I, I think we probably do. So, if we come out this way, all right, and then we'll go round for this one, which is the least useful one that I've got. This one's in the wrong place, so uh, so let's uh, let's suspend operations there. Oh no, that's a truck stop. No, oh, that's okay then. Uh, and then we'll stick. Uh, no, that's that's trains. We're we're not in a train's place. We'll stick another one here. Right. Okay. As you were. There we go. Round there, and then we're on to uh, onto this one. Now this would be the point at which we branch over to the other side when we uh, when we start doing that, possibly. And then it would be good to get close to the station here, you know. All right. Well, make it happen then. You are the master of your own destiny after all. So, uh, you know, master up. Okay. There we go. And then round this one. And then onto there. Yep. And then, um, well, 
let's see. We could turn up this way and hit that. And then what? Uh, get on the bridge and, uh, and haul it over the top. Now, you see, that's effective, but it misses out the whole of the middle. No, no, it's good. I like it. There we are. Right, we'll do that. And then this one. And then you miss out in the middle. Disappointing, but, you know, that's uh, that's just the way we roll here. We're just going to have to hope that Walnut Street can cover them both. Uh, and then back to... So if we're heading back to, to the, the old transfer here, Lee Street having another stop would probably be a, probably be beneficial. Although we haven't touched that either. Right, okay, I've got a plan. Needs more road. Now, I'm going to put one tram on this route for every stop that it has, okay? You should brace yourselves for that now because uh, because that's coming. Um, and uh, and you're going to disagree with it because uh, it's you're going to say it's running completely empty, man. What, what the heck is wrong with you? And I say, I'll yell progress and then bulldoze your house. Uh, yeah, and actually we could possibly put another one here. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and it's purely because I want to give this every opportunity to seed a bit of internal growth. Uh, and to that end, uh, from Miller Street, please. No, hold on, you haven't finished building the road. Build the road. You were going, you were doing so well, and then you you stopped doing well. There we are. How much of a lump have you put in there? Not a, not the worst lump ever, uh, right? And then we'll stick a. Another stop out there. Yes. May we. I am so semi-satisfied with that. Uh, right, good. So we come out this way and then to that one and then back to back to yonder junction. At which point you go yonder junction and this is where we do the predictable. And you have 15, uh, 14, and 13. Uh, 12, 11. Interesting. Do we not have stops on both sides there? We do. Uh, 11. Where's 10? Uh, 10. 9. Yeah. 8. 7. 6. Apparently. 4. 3. 2. Pay dirt. Okay, good. Now, is it still doing something weird over here? No, it wasn't there. It was here. No, it's not. It is no longer doing anything weird there. Right, it is a beast of a route. There are 30 stops. I am going to put 30 trams on this. Um, uh, right, so this is uh, Grand Junction. Oh, uh, yeah, no abbreviations here. The route isn't abbreviated, and so neither is the thing that isn't the route. Uh, Grand Junction... Um, I'm going to avoid the word mega. Uh, commuter. No, that's all it is. It's just a commuter route. It's a humble, humble commuter route uh, that is going to turn this into uh, a, a megalopolis. That's the, that's the thinking. Right, okay. And bang you on that. And then let's turn some of this clobber back on. Thank you. Right, uh, by trams. Uh, I want the latest thing you have that is amazing. Right, the Toronto does 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, the, most of this road only tops out at 50. Capacity of 20 versus the Mirage. Extra capacity versus this double banger. Uh, capacity of 30. Okay, it's a little older. This one's fast. It's a, it's a nippy Russian. That one does 50 and it's got a capacity of 17 which is probably more than enough. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to use something a little bit older just to get us started, uh, providing that the speed matches. Uh, right, one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is 30 overkill? Shut up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we are. Right. Good, there they all are, look. Now all I need is a button that says uh, send them all out at once, which I can't get to because it's off the edge of the flipping screen. Right, so you, hold on, maybe we can do this. No, no, go on, let me multi-select. 
No, all right. Well, one at a time it is then. Grand Junction commuter. Go on, go. I should have called it Electro Trolley. Never mind. Uh, you're just setting the same tram in motion repeatedly, so stop doing that. Go. Kill. And you. This is going to take a minute. There we are, right? I'm going to paint with a snazzy colour in a minute as well. Right, okay. Yep, yeah, there we are. They, they see me rolling. Here we are. Come on. Off you go. And you. Uh, yeah, that one. Have some of this. Get some tram in you. I hope you like trams, because I put some trams in the trams, and the trams are tramming. Tram action. Uh, tr trammeling. Insert your, there you go, here is your uh, your opportunity for uh, for comment of the day is uh, give me your tram puns. I want tram puns today. All of the puns that are tram related. I may not even tell you to get out, which is what usually happens when you pun in my comments. Uh, right, here we go. Go on, keep it going. 30 is a lot, isn't it? Uh, there we go, set line all, right, go. I might I think that noise was me shorting out the electric grid. Let him go. It's, it's 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 almost like a military operation at this stage. Uh vehicles. Colour. That's hideous. Uh, I mean that's that's nice, but it is actually the colour they were to begin with. Well it's deep purple. No, black. You know what I'm reminded of? And some of you will get this reference and some of you won't. I'm reminded of the uh, the, the flying ships from uh, from the, the 1930s, 40s version of Buck Rogers. Not Buck Rogers, big pardon, Flash Gordon. You know, with the dustbin dudes. Look it up, it's on YouTube, you can find it. It's Buster Crab as Flash Gordon uh, and the flying rocket ship thing. Pretty sure it's the same sound effect. Anyway, look, that's that's going. Have we got anybody going like, I've heard the trams are coming, the trams are coming. Um, 30 maybe overkill. They're, that's possible. That looks like it's powered by steam. What the heck are you? Oh, no, you're the, the thing with the lovely whistle. Awesome. What's going on with that? Oh, you've made a... Right, we're going to need to conceal that with some trees. Uh, right, okay, we're going to be back to Grand Junction next time. Uh, but before we uh, before we sign off for the day, uh, how did we end up last year? Oh, obviously, because I spent another bunch of cash, uh, we ended up down more. Uh, ended up on 386, uh, so we probably at about 90 90 million maybe profit if you take away the 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 ridiculous spending that i did um that's okay that's good that's that's perfectly acceptable uh, obviously my spending can only go so far before uh before i have to stop spending because i'm out of money uh right let's have a look the metropolis explorer still still a little lackluster on uh, on passengers waiting I very nearly said patience there. I don't know why I'm crossing the stream so badly, but uh, but there it is. Okay, good. The, the other thing that I'm going to do as we wind up here is I'm going to start looking... I'm going to keep an eye out for anything that's queuing. Uh, for queues are our enemy. There's, a, there's another flipping steam train, look. just You should just go through the track list and, and retire them all. No, I will only retire those that I spot and go, You! No. All right, no. Let's use the let's use the cheeky way of finding out. Here we go. Metropolis Explorer. That's nah, currently. Yeah, now you're talking. It's lost me thirty-four million. Um, but I do think we've actually scaled up the number of passengers we're taking, and it's still got a frequency of ten minutes, which is too slow. About six minutes would be ideal, in my humble opinion. About six minutes would be good. Interestingly, though, Sioux Falls to Brussels has got a really good turn. I mean, look, it's two-thirds full, 10-minute turnaround, it's so-so, and it's still losing flipping money. Well, that, that just shouldn't be the case. If you're two-thirds full, you should be profitable. 
I mean, if you if you like Vancouver Wellington, you've got three trains on there, and you know less than one in five uh, seats are actually filled. Then you know on your own head be it. Uh, the Explorer's picking up though in terms of the number of people riding. Maybe it will pay off. Uh, Sioux Falls commuter looks like I've overdone it there now. It's 26 years old, so maybe I've got too much capacity. Uh, leaving people waiting. Always keep them waiting. Um, if you keep the service full, you make more money. It's true. You, you do. That's a thing that, that genuinely happens. Uh, here's my most profitable. The Europe commuter is my most profitable route that I have. Uh, carrying as it does 2,000 passengers at any given moment. I said that very loud. But, I mean, that's a lot of passengers. There we go. Let's go and say hello to it. 180. And it's waiting. Cues of the enemy of progress. What's your problem? Actually, I've never, I never did rebuild all the signals down here. Oh, you're waiting for that one to pass through. Okay, cool. Hold on. You're queuing. Oh, you're waiting to come in. You're causing untold problems for everyone there, Mr. Alco. Just, just letting you know. Because this one needs to zing out round there. And then this one can zing in. I don't even have to look at the route to know what it's trying to do. Oh, hold on. Where are you going? Hello, I'm in the way as well. <laughs> yes, you are, rather, aren't you? It's, you're quite attractive looking, though. Well done. Are you profitable? Vancouver Wolves Mountain Delight. Why, yes, you are. In that case, you can take as long as you please. That's a very long train. Jolly good. Come on, leave. This is supposed to be my dynamic exit for the day. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, how many episodes have we got left, do you think? Uh, I think we've probably got between four and six and a live stream to finish off. Uh, still to go in this series. Um, you there. How are you doing? 103. Okay, uh, that's a third full. No, it's a quarter full. And how are you doing money-wise? Oh, I'm doing horribly, Moss. Oh, well, jolly good. Let's see if you pick up any more coming out here. In fact, hold on, hold on. This is... Pause, 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 pause. This is the this is a shot for the ages, because you've got a bit of America. You've got a bit of... Uh, is that Russian? Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Tell me. Speak to me. Vorwarts. That's forwards. That is German. Um... Anyway, you've got, you've got British, you've got German, you've got American, all in one shot at the same time. All I need it to do is to uh, is to line up nicely. There we go. It's not going to line up nicely. What a crushing disappointment. Uh, anyway, yes, uh, Colonel Failure is me. I've got a few episodes left to go. I'll finish with a live stream, and uh, I invite you to stick around in order to see that. Uh, fling your likes, push the subscribe button, and uh, I'll be back soon where uh, Grand Junction will continue to receive our very greatest attention. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.